Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and this video is sponsored by, we're gonna pretend that I haven't posted a video in the past year and that this is not my seventh attempt of trying to film a video to post. Great, now that the sponsored portion of this video is over with, we will get into what we're actually gonna do today, which is what I am going to attempt to actually finally do on my list of ideas, which is designer remade or redesigned or just designer set. Designer clothes remade by yours truly that are not designer clothes. No, I don't know. We're basically gonna be duping designer. Duping design. Wow, that has a nice ring to it. I might keep that. Um, we like that. Uh, small explanation, by the way. Uh, past year, where I've been. <laughs> graduated college. Um, worked full time. Not anything to do with my major. Realized what I wanted to actually do. Found out I'm severely allergic to grapes. Almost died from it. Now I carry an EpiPen. Found out I'm allergic to a lot of other things that I eat every single day of my life and I've been actually poisoning myself every time I eat. Um, so here I am today, kind of better. <laughs> so basically, I've been wanting to film a video kind of like this where I obviously remake clothing that I really want that I obviously cannot afford to have. And today we are going to be painting on some jeans because I haven't, one, painted in forever, and two, I really liked how these jeans from Vetments looked, and I will obviously include a picture wherever there is space on the screen, because I don't know uh, what side I am anymore. I saw this picture of these jeans, and was like, fuck, I really want those jeans. And then I looked up those jeans and saw the price tag, it was like, fuck, I really can't afford those jeans, even if I wanted those jeans. So today, we're gonna be recreating those jeans on a pair of my black jeans that I already own. This is like my second pair of black jeans and I love how these fit on me and because of the inspo pick and how they look, I think that these will work well. I think I want to add my own twist to it as well because really I'm only copying one aspect of the design because these actual jeans, I will show more pictures obviously, are, um, I mean, uh, Let's put it nicely, fucking hideous otherwise. <laughs> but I really like this one part of the pants. So that is what we're doing. We're just gonna get started and I'm gonna change the angle now so you can see my view and so I can show you my supplies. I guess let's do that now. Alrighty, so for supplies, obviously jeans or whatever clothing item you want to paint. Um, you'll also need Acrylic paint. I bought this impulsively around Christmas time. Haven't opened it yet, so now we're gonna finally use it. I don't know if we'll use this or not. It's like this really cool um, color changing paint. I don't know, we'll see if we use that or not. I thought that would be cool to try to attempt on the pants. The thing that will obviously make this possible to stay on the clothing is this folk art textile medium, basically. It makes any sort of paint into fabric paint. Um, mostly acrylic paint, obviously. And it says to use their own brand, but we don't follow rules in this house. So I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. And you also need paint brushes. Those are from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how useful they'll actually be. I'm thinking really only this little one right here will be good for the details, because these look really fluffy, so. We'll see if they work or not. If not, I have plenty of other paintbrushes to use. I have my design off screen right here on my iPad, just so I can kind of like look at it and figure out, make sure I'm placing it where it needs to be. And obviously I'm gonna draw with a fine point Sharpie just to start with, just to get, at least get the outline on there. Cause obviously I want to make sure that I am getting everything lined up right. It kind of looks like right between the pockets is like the bottom of like the heart kind of shape. So just draw that V there. And then probably somewhere up here is gonna be like the top. But it also goes right above the pocket, so maybe we will make it up bigger. Um, but obviously we know like a wing is gonna be here. 
and a wing will be here. This is that absolute roughest outline you could probably do and it means probably absolutely nothing to anybody but me. Um, but you know what, that's okay because we're gonna paint it anyways. So now, I'm gonna mix my paint on a paper plate, obviously, because I don't want to fuck it up and I don't feel like finding my palette thing. I'm going to go get a piece of cardboard to lay in between my piece, my jeans so there's no bleeding and then we will be back. We are now cardboard between and I mean, I guess it's just time to start painting and getting my fabric paint ready. It says to mix it one part paint to two parts medium. I should also clarify, I am doing black paint on these. Um, and then I was thinking about possibly going on top of the black paint with the top glaze. And I guess it's time to just start painting and I'm a little scared, but we're just gonna... Yeah, this is actually not that bad. They've been dried approximately two or three times. They have not been washed yet. Um, as you can see, I did add a little bit of a front design. And then for the back, I'm really happy with how these look. I think I did a really good job um, in terms of like mimicking per se, the design. I think that in the future, I will 100% add to these because I feel like like faux tattoo designs down like the leg, like where there would be like a tattoo or something would be really cool. But really quick, I wanna turn the flash on so you guys can see it with the flash on because the glitter looks so fucking good. Pause. <laughs> so again, these are our front panels. And then for the back. And I think I did a pretty good job. I'm really obsessed with how they came out, so. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see other videos like this or videos where I'm just duping designer products to begin with, leave a like and a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and let me know down below what you wanna see from me next. Um, I guess thank you for making this first actual video back not so bad. Thank you YouTube Shorts for making my transition back to YouTube a little bit less awkward. Uh, well, with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!